that cleanly on his stick and missed the mark. Now Jamie Armstrong back through center ice on right wing, shooting low, he scores! Armstrong greases one underneath the stick of Jacob Berger from the right wing circle, just two minutes and 44 seconds in. Armstrong's first career playoff goal, it's 1-0 Penticton. Well, this one starts 200 feet the other way where Matt Robson gives out a juicy rebound into the high slot on a kind of helpless shot to the glove side and Merritt, an opportunity there to put one past Robson, can't make good on it. And 20 seconds later, puck comes back the other day, the other way, excuse me. Jamie Armstrong, left-handed shot from maybe the top of the circle, puts a shot towards the blocker side, and it hits the inside of the block. Front clack, a weak shot, tipped on, puck right at top of the crease, Berger down, clack, diving, pokes it on goal, but it's stopped by a crowd in front, and then finally Tyler Ward out at center, trying to dance around, but Miller poke checked him, extra defensive play, that was excellent. Now Jones back in, in the slot, on his back end, Jones drop pass, scores! Duncan Campbell on a drop pass after a hectic sequence in the merit zone. He makes it 2-0 with 6.04 to go. Well, this one all starts at the V's blue line as Tyler Ward has some speed up ice, goes to cut inside on James Miller, and James Miller kicks the stick out, and then after takes a high stick from Tyler Ward, goes unnoticed by the referees. Puck comes all the way back down, and Nick Jones, what handles, hangs on to this puck in and out and around the Merritt defense. Blake and Horn in the right circle, rippling her back in front, waits, Tyconic shot, broke a stick, in front, rebound in the crease, jam play. Meanwhile, a piece of the stanchion has fallen and laying on the ice behind the goal, and now we get a scrum in front. Nash wants someone, he's got a number, as everybody's grabbing one another as the dance floor is full. 2.36 to go, tempers flaring here. Some great action. And in front of that Merritt net, what a scramble that was. 2 yeah, nothing, late third. Knocked out of the air by Ryland Venunen and back in behind the goal from the V's side is center. Robson played it up the right wall, cut off but shot wide by Bluler from the wall on the right wing and now Armstrong will carry out. Bad pinch by Murray, has a two on one with Ward. Armstrong in, in front, back ender, Gashewski scores! <laughs> Maybe banged in in front by Taylor Ward as they crash the crease on a quick give and go and it looks like, sorry, it's Taylor Ward. Regardless, it's 3 nothing with 5.38 to go. Well, three on two up ice. Starts as a two on one, turns into a three on two as Armstrong coming down the right side. Taylor Ward going hard to the back post, throws a puck up to Goshevsky and Goshevsky comes in on a clear cut 10 foot breakaway on Jacob Berger and then as he Makes a move, the puck pops over to Taylor Ward. And Taylor Wood there, Taylor Ward, excuse me, there to clean up the garbage. The V's lead 3 0 here, and this one is probably out of reach for the Merritt Centennial. That fourth line doing it again tonight. Armstrong down the highway to Merritt and see if you can really put some real doubt in the head of the Merritt Centennial. Off the draw, Merritt scores. What a shot. Seeger from the bottom of the right circle roofs it far down, glove side. A loose puck just jumped the check and rifled that in and it's three to one with a puck 51 to go. Wow. Well, I, I spoke too early as I said, you don't wanna kinda get complacent here and that puck's won by the Merritt Centennials just out to the left side of the circle and it's no puck in the clearing attempt. Wicks middle point, shot by Bell, whistle just wide. Off the end boards from the right wing, oh. B's cleared to the blue line on right wing and Nomonte chips it past Bluler, empty net, fan on it, gets it across, Sillinger scores! Owen Sillinger gets the pass across from Amonte and buries into the open net. And the V's look like they've sealed it. 53 seconds left. It's 4 1 Penticton. Off the draw, V's work it back. Left point. Leahy a drive. That over the net, off the glass. And 28 seconds left. Merritt, Nick Fidanza at center, dumps it back towards the V's blue line. Falker got hit there by Ripplinger. And Claygore didn't like that. Now things are going to get 
a little physical here as they come together in the left wing circle. Fidanza going after Mitch Meek. Robson thought about playing referee there for a moment, but thought otherwise as tempers flare. Ripplinger took a hit at Michael Faulkner on the offside play. That's what I think drew the ire of Henry Clayhorn. Seeger challenging him to fight with 13 seconds left when why would you even want to? I don't think Leahy would have any interest in that. Yeah, why would you? 10 seconds left, Nash back in his own zone, chips it off the glass to center. Three seconds left, that will run out the clock and the V's will win game number two. Final score is four to one, just like a night ago. And the V's hold court on home ice up two nothing in this best of seven series with another solid performance at the SOEC.